Welcome back everybody and today we've got the official gameplay reveal for Ramatra. As all of us assume, Ramatra looks so amazing in game. His abilities are dope, his animations are nice, and especially his nemesis mode, that thing is, is honestly just insane. But if you didn't get to see the gameplay trailer, don't worry, we're gonna play it now, and then afterwards let's go ahead and talk about it. I do not fight for myself, I never have. Together, we are unstoppable. This is not my victory. It is ours. It's Hanoo. You are finished. <laughs> Come, let us punish them. That's like my third time watching it, but let's go ahead and review it. Okay, so you can see right here when he's trying to place his shield, it looks like we're gonna be getting an indicator on where it's going. You can see that he uses the shield to block Cassidy's high noon. Also, it kind of looks like this is the max distance it can go because as he's moving forward, it's also moving forward with him. One thing that is unfortunate though is we don't know how much health it has, but we can assume it's quite a bit, probably somewhere between Sigma and Reinhardt. You know, here's a look at Ramacha's primary attack. Actually, I thought it was going to be something like Moira's where it was going to just auto aim for you, but that just is not the case because its primary attack is actually a projectile. And this attack also has no damage fall off also say that it does do pretty good damage to the head one thing that i don't like about it though is it i think the animation is kind of lazy it went from looking like something like this to what we're getting in game right now i don't know if that's going to be the final product but it does look kind of weird okay so now we have a look at his e ability it's shooting these uh micro drones this is also another projectile ability it cannot fully activate until it touches the floor though so it can bounce as many times as it needs to until it touches the floor. Once it touches the floor is when it will emit its area of effect. Now within this area, it will slow you down, bring you down to the ground if you play any sort of aerial hero, and it will damage you over time. also love how this Echo looks like she's just begging for help. All right now, let's go over his nemesis mode. Okay, now, so this is his primary. He kind of shoots it like Zenyatta shoots its orbs, but uh, it comes out. This is a much shorter range. Also, the, the animation speed is slower than Zenyatta's as his orbs come out way faster. Basically, after each punch, it's going to launch a shockwave that's penetrated, meaning that if multiple heroes are on top of each other, it will hit all of them. This can be seen right here as his Mei and his Kiriko get completely obliterated with just one punch. Also, if you notice right here, the Winston gets completely destroyed through his bubble. Macho throws his attack, it flies right through the bubble and hits Winston. This is an attack that just doesn't care about your shield at all. Again, right here, you can see that Ramatra uses his ability, he uses his attack against his Reinhardt, and it's still damaging him. Now, let's talk about his block ability. You're going to want to use this to reduce damage that you are taken from the front. Even on moves like Torbjorn's Molten Core, despite it surrounding him, it will still reduce the damage because he can see it from the front. Now, if it hits him from the back or in the side where he can't see it, it will not reduce the damage. There's no cooldown on the block, but his Nemesis mode does only last for 8 seconds and has an 8 second cooldown as well. So, using the block as little as possible and only when needed is probably going to be best. And this is his ultimate. Devs describe it as being similar to Transcendence, meaning that it has this wide area of effect. It does have a relatively short duration, but as long as it's dealing damage to someone, it won't end because as you're dealing damage, it's pausing the cooldown. Basically, this is a way of extending the duration of his ultimate past this 8 second mark, so he can still do everything that he normally could in his Nemesis mode also while dealing a area of effect damage to everyone, any enemy around him. 
and that is Ramatra. What do you guys think of him? Do you think he's going to be meta? Do you think he's going to be a must need pick? Honestly, I think he is going to be both of those. I think you're going to need to be playing him once he's able to be used and competitive, and he's going to be very viable. If you enjoyed today's video or found any of this information helpful, please consider leaving a like. And if you want to come back and see more Overwatch content, hit that sub button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.